having to predictability. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. So what? Hello, Rebels, and welcome to South High School News. Let's get into this week's announcements. My name is Brianna Clark. And I'm Zach Tassin. The first annual Band Booster Game Show Night will be at the Patrician Party Center in Eastlake on Saturday, February 23rd, from 6 o'clock to 11 o'clock p.m. The cost is $40 per person. There will be a door prize, sideboards, a Chinese auction, and games to play for $5, of which the proceeds will benefit the instrumental programs for our school. To purchase tickets, go to www.signupgenius.com. Any questions, please email Mrs. Yonner at ColleenYonner55 at gmail.com. Attention to all 2019-2020 Rebel Grow applicants. Remember to turn in your applications by February 22nd to room 137, Mrs. Grant's room. Be sure to sign up for a group interview when you turn in your application. We will start to sell prom fashion show tickets this Friday, February 22nd, during lunch periods. They are $5. We will continue to sell through next Wednesday. After that, they may be purchased at the door on show day. Also, there will be great prizes for raffle and a 50-50 as well. For anyone interested in playing boys lacrosse, we will have tryouts Friday, February 22nd at 6 p.m. for the stadium. February 22nd is today. There will be a speech, there will be speech club Thursday, February 21st, after, after school in the library. Please come with your Who Am I speeches memorized and ready to start a new speech with a writing utensil and paper. There will be a student government meeting next Wednesday, February 27th at 7.15 a.m. in the cafeteria. Now to Jackson or Packy with sports. Thanks, Bree. Now this week in Rebel Sports. Wednesday, there was a boys basketball game at 7.30, away against Gilmore. What a day at Wycliffe Lanes as 12 high schools competed in the D1 sectional bowling tournament on Saturday, February 16th. South came in with a shot at taking sectionals as any of the teams in the division. Our goal was to place in the top four, and if anything, having individuals move on if we didn't, if we didn't as a team. We started out slow as it took the first game just to figure out the shot. Antonio had the high game of 176, along with Brennan Naiman. The second, Brennan had 215, while Antonio had 194. We moved to the third. Antonio led with a 216, Brennan following with a 194. The score is good enough for these two to take first and second as individuals in the tournament. Antonio with a 586, and Brennan with a 585. However, because of the bowling team, they jumped from fourth to second and maintained it through the rest of the day, making them advance as the team jumped to districts next Saturday. Awesome job, boys. Let's hope we can make it to states. Now to Evan with the weather. Monday this week, going to have a high of 28, a low of 17. It's going to be cloudy, so you might want to bundle up a little bit. Tuesday, looking kind of the same, a little bit more chilly. 24 is the high, 20 is the low. Cloudy again. So get those coats. On Wednesday, we're going to have a high of 27, low of 21. It's going to be a little bit more sunny that day, so sun might change the weather how it feels. On Thursday, going to be a little bit of sunny in there with a little bit of clouds. 31's the high, 23's the low. And of course, Friday, end of the week, everybody's excited to go home. Going to be 39, nice day to go outside with the high. 26 is the low. It's going to be sunny with a little bit of clouds as well. Thank you for tuning in to the news. Now back to Zach and Bree. And now to a student interviewer. Hello there, distressed student. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to buy a Mountain Dew Kickstart, but they're obviously not here. First off, wrong machine, that wouldn't be over there. Secondly, there's nothing even here for you to buy. What's your opinion on that? That's janky. Janky? What an interesting word. Do you learn that at the schools of Willoughby South High School? Yes. AP Lang. I'm glad that we have prepared you thoroughly for this uh, school year. So, looking at this, what is the first thing that pops in your mind? Depression. Wow, what an interesting word. 
I like it because it really does describe perfectly, whether it be from the Cheeto dust that's still there from old bags of Cheetos or just the plain barrenness that is left. And that's our student interview portion of the day, making lives better. Catch you on the flip side. And stay classy, Willoughby South High School. Then a little boy.